three, two, wait, who's co-hosting the show? What? I'm co-hosting the show? Wardrobe, makeup, breath spray. I'm Ralph Garcia. Don't change that channel. It's gonna be a great day, SA. Live from Ken's Five, this is Great Day SA with your host, Bridget Smith, featuring Eileen Tevis, Paul Morellis with weather, and Natalie Tejeda. Bridget Smith. Hello, everybody. Good to Hello. see you, my dear. Mm, Happy welcome Tuesday. to Tuesday morning, I might everybody. Smell like septic. This is Ralph Garcia. <laughs> you know that's okay, Ralph Garcia. Yes, indeed. Welcome to the show, everybody. It's good this to be here. is it's good to have you here. This is day four of co-hosting with the I crew. I know, I know. That ad lib tease, that's something else, man. Yeah, because that's little, the first part of the show. I know, I know. And thank you to the crew for helping out with the, the pit crew. It had a I don't lot know of, if it went hundred percent as planned, but we got through it. It had a lot of theatrics. <laughs> yes. I'm glad to have you here this morning, Ralph Garcia. How you feeling? You know, I'm feeling fine. I mean, this is our home court here. I thought I'd be more nervous, but yeah. I'm just going with the flow. Yeah, so we've had the producers come from behind the scenes and some of the crew because Paul Mid Ellis is on vacation. So, it, you know, we came up with the idea, like, why not have the crew kind of step in and see what it's like to co-host? And so this is day four, and I am so glad that you are here. Thank you. You know, honestly, it, it really is an honor. When I first got this job, you never imagined that you'll be on uh, live television. You just want to come make TV and tell stories. So. Um, just real happy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, you know what? Before we get to the quiz, I, I sure. want you to tell us a little bit about yourself because you are from. I'm from San Antonio, born Texas. And born in San and raised. Antonio. I love this city. I love uh, my people. Die hard um, Aggie, by the yeah, way. Yeah, I graduated from Lee High School and then I went to uh, Texas A&M University. Heard a whoop back there. I, I love the Aggies, no matter in, in victory and in loss. I love my Aggies, no matter what. So. And in loss, good. <laughs> hey. and, and, and as a matter of fact, you've got a special uh, celebration happening in your family. Yes, right? my grandparents, Ralph and Alice. Aww. I love you guys so much. They're celebrating 59 50, years tomorrow. Well, we just can't run 59 past. years tomorrow. Listen, 59 years of marital wedded bliss. Yes, that is absolutely. a big deal. Grandma and Grandpa, I love you so much. You're a shining example of what real love is, sacrifice, commitment. And I only hope to have as much happiness as you have in Absolutely. your life. Absolutely. And many more years to them. Congratulations yes. on that. Well, let's go ahead and get started. Yes, with today's quiz prize. Because I want to get a little backdrop on you, Ralph, and how yeah. you wound up here. Um, you can win a, a free uh, Peter Piper pizza. Yeah. Uh, for just answering this question. First of all, we can take a look at this picture. This uh -oh. is my eighth grade middle school basketball team. And... Uh, Oh, we don't have it. We don't have Maybe it? Maybe we'll get it. We'll oh, get okay. It. I'm sorry. We're going to go that a little bit later. Okay. Right now, what we're going to talk about is... Um, this is not my first rodeo bridge, believe no. it or not. You, in fact, have been in. I've been in television for about 10 years now. I got my start at uh, KAMU TV in College Station, Texas. Right. I was a production assistant, and I used to produce this show called Between the Lines. Uh -huh. And if we can take a look at about a little bit of this, Liz, it, it, I hosted the show, I did interviews, yeah, I, I did, there's a cooking segment. It was where I, where I really cut my teeth. Okay, let's watch show. it. Let's watch it. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Uh, I'm Ralph Garcia, and you're watching Between the Lines, A&M's premiere talking variety show. This is 10 show. years ago. Okay, so you're not running in the summer right now. And maybe you can tell us a little bit about the song you just performed. Look how young I look, Bridget. Bridget. Ray Bowen, look at, the oh. Yeah, I even did the news. <laughs> I did a little uh, prompter reading. <laughs> My name is Jacob. And then I did some stuff that doesn't make Kendall. any sense. Represent really. the Biden, Texas Aggie class of 2002. Whoop! Let's get right to it. This is this is my Otto friend Dina. Corn. She's watching today, and by the way. Talk about what, is she what good? Yeah, yeah. Of. And out. then, uh, you know, as I was going through these clips, Bridget, what? I realized that there was a lot more uh, nudity in tomfoolery. <laughs> yeah. and, I, and I'm wondering what's going on there. Like you're in a you're in an honor her, and now you're in a and you sing? Uh, no, I don't. But they let me do whatever I want. It's the dangerous thing about producing a show in college. They just. This, is, this was a song about a girl. I'm like speechless, Wait. right? I've never Bridget, seen this, this, you guys. This is a song about a girl I met on the internet that really turned out to be a man. Oh, no. Yeah. That's not a true story. And it, that's, no. Uh, let's just say it's not. Just leave it alone, right? Yeah, let's leave that alone. Oh, I'm speechless because I don't see what, whatever they have before But the, we come you know, the good here, thing about that is, is that they let me really cut my teeth and I learned how to edit, I learned how to shoot, I learned how to uh, 
to produce really. Do all of those things. Yeah, yeah, and it wasn't live like this, but it was still, at the time, it felt very important to me. And I gotta say one more thing. Travis Rodriguez was my co-producer, yeah. and he's the reason that show went on as well. Uh, lifelong friend, so if he's watching. Okay, yeah. good, good. Yeah. I, I, wanna, I got another question I'm gonna ask you about, but we do have that uh, picture down for our quiz. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. and just so everybody knows at home, I wasn't supposed to toss it the quiz till now. This is how hard this can be sometimes, but it's a lot of fun. This is my eighth grade basketball team. Judging by the prowess of this team right here, I want you to guess how many wins this team won in 1992. And where are you? Was it, I'm on the far left corner. Which you number? can't see it on this monitor. 41. They can see it at home. Okay. Did my team win A, five games, B, two games, or C, zero, zero games? games. Uh, oh. Call and give us the correct answer. You're going to win a pizza from Peter Piper. Just randomly, we hope somebody knows that. 946 GDSA. Yeah, 946 you got three guesses. So. Yeah. Uh, okay, so a funny thing I learned when I was out to, to lunch with you last week was that you said to me, you said, I've, I've, you know, I've worked in TV, you've been a producer at other places, and you said, Bridget, this is this job here at GDSA. I've never had so many injuries. <laughs> in all my life in TV, right? Some, yeah, I some have. hazards. I had some injuries. Some hazards in the job, right? Yeah, I did. How long was it that you walked around with a big boot on what, your what foot? What injury do we want to talk about? Yeah, what, um, I hurt my foot last year at this time. Yeah. What happened is I was helping the band set up in the back and one of the band members dropped a two by four it's on my funny, foot. Uh, well, it was kind of funny. Dropped a two by four on my foot and I was, uh, I was hurting limping around for about a month and a half. I felt really bad for the guy because he said he, he cut his hand <laughs> and so I had empathy for him too. I said, man, the guy cut his hand. Yeah. I see him later in the show jamming out on the keyboard. Yeah, getting down. Yeah, didn't, didn't look like it was that. But you walked around hurt. for yeah. yeah. You've had a lot of things happen to you, Rob. I have, but it's anyway, worth it. I am glad that you are here this morning. Me too. Okay, so shall we talk about the comedian du jour? Yes. Okay. Okay. As a producer, you take everything real seriously, and uh, there's a comedian, comedian that I mm -hmm. watched. Her name is Maria Bamford, mm -hmm. and I'd seen her do stand up before. I'd seen her uh, on Comedy Central, and I thought, um, man, it'd be good to get her on the show. Well, yeah. she was playing at the LOL Comedy Club a few months ago, so I had some connections. I called and booked her. Yeah, and okay? you were really excited I was really to bring excited. her on Great I was on telling Great everybody about him, and uh, this is what happened when she was on our show. Yeah, it was the most interesting interview of my life. <laughs> Maria. Maria, what's going on over there, Maria? <laughs> I was just checking out what you hey, have I'm, I'm here, over the here. texture. I, no. I don't know why they told me that. Really? Because they said it was just kites and taffy. Oh, kites and taffy. And, you know... Okay. Yeah, um, it was a little strange. Okay, and so here's the funny part of this story, is that Paul and I could never sort of get Maria to come out of her character. Her character. She's in this character that she does, and so after the show, I, we were like, who, who, book, who booked, who booked that lady? I got a lot of flack for that. I got to tell Ralph people at was, home. I got to say this, Ralph was off working that day. I was on assignment at home editing, and I was watching it, and I got to tell people at home, as a oh. producer, that may seem all fun and games to you, but my stomach dropped. I yes. said, this is not going well. This is not funny. I take this stuff very seriously. It's and not going for, well. For like a week, I was like, man, Maria Bamford. Okay, so a few weeks ago, Redemption. I'm watching television, and I see this commercial <laughs> for Target. <laughs> Roll that bean footage, Liz. Yeah. Maria Bamford is the target lady. National target producers lady. thought she's funny too. Yeah. So, Liz, I know you're back there. You're making fun of me for like weeks about that. It, it is. I got an eye for talent. But this is the thing. I'm sure she went into that audition doing that character, right? Like, yeah. Because if, if you don't know that's her character, when somebody comes onto the show as that character, the audience at home never gets it. I don't know if people got it. Yeah. And now we see her on the commercial, she's and she's perfect for that. And I like bizarre humor. And I'm sure she went and said, I'm on Great Day. I know Ralph Garcia. And it really helped her get that part. Yeah, it did. Yeah, she so. had some connections. And there you go. There you go. Well, Ralph, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad to be and here. And the weather is feeling good outside. It's feeling a little cold. I want to say good morning to Jared Silverman, who has stepped into the Weather Center for Paul Medellis who was vacationing. Hi, Jerry. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, hopefully Paul's in a warmer place. And Ralph, hopefully, hopefully the answer to your quiz question wasn't zero. I'm hoping. Hope hey, you we'll guys want see. something. We'll have uh -oh. to see. <laughs> <laughs> we will see. You know, we are expecting a freeze. We didn't get one here for this morning, but we are expecting a few freezes all over the upcoming forecast. 35 now downtown. All these temperatures, currents, and very close to our overnight lows. Light freeze in the hill country. We still can't get rid of the clouds just yet, but I think at the tail end of the day and this evening, they will finally go away. No surprise that we've had this surge of cold air. Look at the entire western half of the United States. Denver at 9, 2 for Pierre. Both of those areas were below zero just a few hours ago.
ago. So of course that cold Canadian air seeps on down here and gives us another unseasonably cold forecast. Only a high of 48 and it will become breezy from time to time. Kind of another gray day. And if you live in San Antonio, prepare the three P's because we do have a light freeze. And especially in the hill country, that's going to be a hard freeze the next few nights. Temperatures in the 20s and then Saturday, Sunday and Monday will work a couple of rain chances back in. But it definitely looks like winter has a nice firm grip on us for at least the next several days. Okay, Jared. Well, that's good to know. Ooh, cold, Man, it's, it's cold, going to be cold, cold. but it's oh, about yeah. that time of year. You know, maybe we'll get a white Christmas this year, Jared. It's possible. I've been waiting, what was it, 84 last time it snowed in San Antonio? I've been waiting my whole life. Yeah, I know. A lot of people keep saying that. You know, the last two days in a row, today and yesterday, they had snow all over the northern half of the state. Jealous. Dallas had a little bit of snow, too, so you can never rule it out. We might get it. We might be doing it. All right. We Fantastic, Jared. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, any Aggies news you want to bring to us? Any Aggie news? Yeah. Well, I, we're searching I, for a new coach, but I don't have any inside info okay, on that no, yet. Okay, I was just wondering, because anytime yeah. any Aggies information comes across in our newsroom, <laughs> Jared, you know, because this is the thing, Jared, I was telling you, Ralph, Ralph is the only guy really in our office, so he's surrounded by women all day. So while we're talking <laughs> about what's going on with the Kardashians yeah. or lipstick, I always Ralph have then to, has to go to other departments to talk to men about sports and get some of that testosterone. I got to go find guy. a guy when I got some sports news, but I will tell you this, I know a lot about shoes. I know that <laughs> lipsticks don't have flavor, they have shades. <laughs> The, and, things, uh, <laughs> the things you learn working with women. Yes, this is yes, true. Ralph. Hey, listen, I believe we've got a caller who's going to oh, take a stab good, at that question good, about good. your uh, eighth grade basketball team, and it is Gennaro. I love that name. Good morning, Gennaro. Good morning, beautiful Hi. Bridget. Oh, good morning. Nice to talk to you this morning. Are you ready for Tuesday's quiz of the day? Yes, from Ravishing Ray. Okay, from Ravishing Ray. Here it is. Okay, Gennaro, how many games did my eighth grade basketball team win? A, five, B, two, or C, zero? Zero. It was That's zero. True. Oh my goodness, Janera, you guessed correctly. You know, what happened, Ralph? Well, we had two teams and we played 14 games each, so we went 0 28. I mean, I feel bad, Mike. I had two coaches, Coach Baker and Coach Baker, ironically. And, I, you know, anytime Ralph Garcia starting on your team, 5'2, 95 pounds, is not a good sign. It's not a good sign. No, he, he, would, he would start me because I could pass my classes. And, uh, you know, but lessons learned there is that, you know, sometimes you got to fail in life to succeed, <laughs> even <laughs> yeah, though we didn't did. succeed. Oh, well. Oh, right, you yeah. did, but you wound up with a great job in TV. Yes, yes, yes. Somebody got a pizza because of that, so that's awesome. Yes, I'm glad, and I'm glad that you're here this morning. Thank Rappers. you. That's okay. You got to let that go. You know, just move I, on Apparently, I haven't. Just move on in life. Hey, you got some great gift ideas this morning. Yes, yes. You can get an iPad 2 just for taking care of your AC unit. Yeah, we're yes. going to tell you. Also, I do have show. some gift ideas. The best gifts you can buy for under $100. You don't want to miss that. Yes, and Rosie Benner is in the kitchen, and Woo. a big announcement to come. And later in the show, we're going to tell you how just listening to the radio can change the lives of some people right here in San Antonio. You want to do that around a holiday. It's about giving. Hey, Ralph Garcia is here, everybody. Stay yes. with us. We'll be right back. Thank you for watching today, everybody. Ralph Garcia, thank you for co-hosting. Hey, thank you. It was a lot of fun. Co-hosting with the crew. Yes. Hey, and congratulations and happy retirement to Rosie Benner. Rosie. We've got a little something for you, Rosie. Here you go. This is to you, Rosie. Oh, you Rosie. got a cake, too. Rosie, you got all sorts us. of stuff. Yes. Hey, Rosie, you. here, take the iPad as well. Just <laughs> yes. say, no kidding, call it, yeah, and, call it compost. And dig into that gift. Hey, everybody, let's toast to Rosie Benner. Thank you so much Rosie. for a wonderful, wonderful we job here you, on Rosie. Great Day SA. We love you. Yay! Thank you, Rosie. Thank you for watching, everybody. Ooh. We're going to celebrate in the kitchen with Rosie yeah, as she goes that? off into the great sunset of retirement. We'll see you tomorrow, that's everybody. Bye-bye. Yes, you like that's it? That's a Rosie gift right there. Yay! Oh, yeah. Rosie.